yay, we have a beautiful sunny day today. And it's so nice to see. <sighs> day today, the sun is shining. <clears throat> Bluebells are coming up. And my one sure sign that spring is definitely here. Mike Humphrey's coming up. One of my patches. I'm hoping to be able to spread this around some more this year. It's such a great composter. And it works so good for... for Everybody's months. running out. Figured it's time to let them run around since I'm going to be working in the garden since it's such a beautiful day today. And there's no rain. I'm so happy. <laughs> well, we've got buddings on the lilacs. And there's Cammy Kitty. And the lilacs coming out here. There are some shoots down there that I want to transplant. And uh, there are some li lilac seeds. That I, I was giving my little compost a turn, and I was noticing. Uh, I have potatoes growing up again in the back of my compost. Everybody's enjoying the run around in the spring kind of air. All the ladies and are ready for it for sure. There they are busy doing their job. Keeping my slopes clean. Oh look, the first plum oh, blossom of the year. Yesterday, I, uh, while I was down in the shop, one of the things I did was I had to put the braces on the bottom of the uh, workbench. The legs were starting to do funky things, probably because we're dragging it around with a lot of weight on it. So uh, I had to take the time to put some braces in. I kind of notched out the receive, kind of a half lap joint, and it sits in uh, for some extra stability. And I just ran a bolt through, just a single bolt through each one, and then put another cross brace, actually three, one in the middle cross brace. <clears throat> and it's two by fours, nothing fancy. Uh, you know, one day when I got nothing to do but spend $500 on some exotic wood, I'll make the lower half of the bench out of something exotic, but it's extremely sturdy. And of course the top is ash, and it's not even attached, so at some point in time, I can just, uh... Yeah, it's very mobile, be able to move. Base and put it on there. So, that's what you missed yesterday with the workbench. Of course, I've got some storage area here too for some uh, most used items. Got my uh, sanders in here, palm sander and uh, random orbital, uh, fine multi master and my biscuit joiner sitting behind that and of course my planes. So uh, those things that are you know kind of handy to have or use a lot near the bench, good place for them. So, I hope to get some drawers in here for some of the smaller items, chisels and whatnot. So, we'll see what happens there. So that's pretty much it for the workbench update. I've got three of my uh, barn door panels all glued up. They still need to have the seams uh, made it a little better. Uh, eventually, they'll be, you can run your finger across it, so 
you might feel the same. I've got one left to do. It's three sections that uh, I got a biscuit together. I'll be doing that in a few minutes. And then I can start actually sliding it inside of the frame here, which is just chewing up space like crazy. And um, as long as we were talking about the shop, one of the thoughts I had was another little bottom box for uh, some often used woodworking tools, chisels, small saws, plain squares, yada, yada, yada. And I was thinking about putting it somewhere in this area for the bench. I've got these shelves here, which I really hate and hope to uh, do away with. Maybe that's a good spot. So if you have any suggestions on how you might store your uh, smaller hand tools used often uh, close by to your workbench, I would assume. I don't want to travel around the shop, but you know, little hints or tips there might be appreciated. Leave a comment for me, and uh, I'll catch you after we do this glue up. Oh, oh, hold on, we have a new trivia question. The last question, what was uh, Noah's Ark made out of? Uh, that was an easy one. Uh, gopher wood was the answer. I wish I had memory, you know, it's what happens when you get old to remember who it was so I can give them a shout out. We'll have to do that later. But uh, the next trivia question is, uh, first of all, if anybody knows what gopher wood is definitively, there's a half a dozen uh, interpretations of what gopher wood might be. But at any rate, the next trivia question, what is the most common and popular hardwood used for utilitarian purposes in America? And by utilitarian, I mean it has a wide variety of purposes. Uh, it's used for many, many things. And of course, it's just the most common one used for all these variety of purposes. Well, I have a little bit of asparagus cup pocket poking out. Here's my Buff Orpington and Astralorp. Well, it was a bit easy day today. And uh, that tree right there, Mark's got to do some repair work on the chainsaw. And hopefully that'll be coming down once the barn doors get done. My day lily is booming. Well, it's been a busy day here today. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a message. We love to hear from you.